everybody! Thanks so much for tuning in. Today I'm going to be talking about the uh, mini sequel to the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. It is called Petite Heat. So as you can see, it's much smaller than the original palette. It does have the same color scheme, same kind of packaging look on the outside. If you look really closely at it, you can see roses on fire. And myself being petite, five feet tall, I can relate to this palette. I am fun size. I know my last few videos have been pretty long, so this will be a little something for those of you who like maybe a little bit shorter video from me. And I will still be doing the Shop Hush palette reviews. Once I ordered a whole bunch of the Bad Habit ones, I really have a lot to go through, so I know it's gonna be like another few days for sure before I can get that done. So in the midst of that, I thought, hey, I'll bust out my review on this Petite Heat palette. This is basically gonna be a comparison Comparison with the original Naked Heat palette, and just seeking to answer the question, do you need this little guy? Because I know there are a lot of warm color scheme palettes out there, and before I really read the description of what this palette is, I thought, did they just like plug in a few shades that already came from Naked Heat? Because I did see a lot of similarities. The actual description here of this little palette says, inspired by Naked Heat, this petite palette holds an all new lineup of scorched neutrals. Use these six shades alone or as the starting point for any look with five matte shades for the lid crease and liner plus one demi matte highlighting shade. This one on the end is the one that has like a little bit of sheen to it and then everything else is 100% matte in that lineup. Next to your shimmer you do have this soft kind of wheat oatmeal-y color. This is kind of the color of my shirt that I'm wearing today. Hot Spell I think is a natural starting point for a lot of people in the crease and you will see me doing a look with this palette today in this video by the way a little demo. Wild Thing feels like a true orange to me. It really mimics just the color of the outer package Heist I would call a deep terracotta and then we have strike which is kind of a plummy brown There's a little bit of warmth to this a little bit of red in that shade actually just looking at the swatches here The only complaint that I would have would be with the color inhale. That's that light shade with a little shimmer I thought that was a little bit lacking and when I've worked that into my look and kind of tried to use that as an Accent type color. I've wanted a little more out of that shade I feel like I have to build it up to get the impact that I want but as far as the mattes they're pretty much everything that I would expect from Urban Decay. You know, they're pigmented, they apply smoothly and evenly on my eyes. The color selection, if we're talking a warm all matte palette, I think it makes a lot of sense. I like that the darkest shade has some element of kind of a reddish plumminess there because I think that pairs really nicely with more orangey shades. The warmest, most like on fire color in this palette is definitely Wild Thing, your true orange. But if you cover that up and completely leave that out of your look, you can still put together some things that have that little element of warmth but aren't quite so screaming at you with orange. So in itself I do like it as a palette. I tend to like this color scheme, just my own personal taste. So yeah, I'm going to be into this kind of look that it can create. But the big, big but here is what about the big naked heat? What if you already own this? What are the differences? What are the similarities to the smaller one? Like what do you need to know as far as is this worth buying if you already have this? Well overall one big difference that I can see when I'm looking up close closely at these palettes is the fact that Naked Heat, the full size one here, is more reddish and it's completely lacking that orange color that this has. And that's a really prominent shade, like when you work that into your look it can really take it an extremely warm, just orangey direction, you know? And so without that color, that's a big difference between these two palettes. But the similarities are definitely there with like every other shade. I wanted to show you what I did with the swatches. So I had first swatched just the colors in the petite heat. And then I found any shade out of this palette that I thought was close to the existing shades here. So above inhale we have ounce. That's the soft shimmery shade in original naked heat. Um, Chaser would be comparable to vibrate. Sauced is a lot like hot spell. Again, wild thing, the orangey shade, there's nothing in naked heat that's really like that. Cayenne from the naked heat is a lot like heist. And then ashes is sort of similar to strike, although ashes is more of a straight up plum and strike has a little more red in it. So what gets me here is five out of the six shades I can find really pretty similar alternatives in the original Naked Heat, but the one that I can't find an alternative to is like a pretty big factor in the type of look that you create, right? That orange shade. But with so many other warm palettes out there, you might say, no problem, I've got all those shades already somewhere else. Like this is not extremely uncommon, let's face it. It's one of those decisions you've kind of got to look at what you already have, make the call for yourself, but the way I would look at it is original Naked Heat is bigger, so there's more color variety 
variety in it, if that matters to you. There's more red. There's many more possibilities to turn out a really like reddish look in this palette. You've got a wider variety of finishes here. You've got matte and shimmer, some really metallic shades in this palette. Here, and it may be a pro or a con, it's all matte except for that one shade. So if you don't find yourself using a lot of shimmers, maybe you want this. If you prefer a more orangey look, maybe this is your jam. If you're already an owner of Naked Heat, you might say, well, I've got this palette already and I've got an orange that I like to use, you know, in another palette or elsewhere in my collection. If that's your situation, I mean, that's a pretty good call, I think, for totally bypassing this palette because if you've got this already and you've got an orange somewhere, you can get pretty much any look that you can do with this guy. Hopefully I've laid out enough situations here for you to um, make that decision for yourself as to whether or not you think you need this palette. I mean, need is kind of a strong word, you know, when we're talking eyeshadows. Do we really need more eyeshadow? But I think drawing these comparisons can be helpful. And I do want to show you a look. I want to show you this going on my eyes. So here we go for that. First I primed the lids and then I took Hot Spell and I just used that to work up some contrast in my crease. I think that's a great starting point, kind of easy shade to work in there. And then I added some Wild Thing in the outer corner mostly. So really warmed up the look with that orange. Kind of blended out the edges of my look with that Vibrate color. That is a nice shade to have here. Just offers the tiniest bit of color. So it's really nice for like fading out of your warmer look into just your skin. And then I used Inhale up under the brow as my highlight. Building up some intensity on the lid, I took Heist and I patted that pretty much all over the lid, leaving a little bit of a gap on my inner corner. I truly love that shade. I think that builds up a lot of warmth, but kind of there's a depth to it. And then Strike, I used that just in my outermost corner, both on the lid and into the crease a little bit. And then I found myself pulling in a smaller brush and really using that shade to kind of change the shape of my eyeshadow and pull it more in the direction of the outer tip of my brow. Strike is dark, but it's not too dark. It's not too far of a cry from heist. So those two shades do kind of blend easily one into the next. And then I just used a little bit of strike down on my lower lash line as well. This is not a real lower lash line heavy look today, so I just used a little bit. And then I finished my look with a light liner in my lower inner rim. That's the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlight. I've got um, my Jordana Color Envy Liquid Liner in Black Envy across the upper lash line and winged out. I popped on some mascara top and bottom, some false lashes. Um, these are very similar to a red cherry number 43 and I just thought they fit the the shape of my look. Elsewhere on my face my lip color I'm wearing today is the L'Oreal Infallible Paints and this is the spicy blush shade so one of my favorite nude glosses ever. The blush that I'm wearing is from my Shani blush palette and it's this shade here this sort of dusty rose bronze. My highlight today do you guys remember me talking about this Aesthetica palette I got from Amazon it's the strobe series in radiate tan to dark and I love this color right here this has been used a lot. It just makes a really beautiful um, cheekbone highlight. So Petite Heat, again, I love the name Petite Heat. <laughs> That's really great. I love the size of the compact. The packaging is really cute. If you were coming to this video just to find out, is it good quality? If I get it, am I going to love it? Or am I going to be totally disappointed? Was this some unlikely flop or something? I do not think it's a flop, although I find this inhale shade to be pretty subtle. Although I think that's what they were going for, considering the rest of the palette was completely matte. I think they wanted to keep this color with just a hint of sheen, so it may not be as exaggerated of a shimmer as some people might be going for, but there's a ton of overlap with the Naked Heat, which I found to be a little disappointing, but at the same time, I do like all of those shades. Biggest difference, there's an orange in here. There's not an orange in the Naked Heat, and if you've already got Naked Heat and you might have an orange elsewhere in your collection, you might be just 100% set and could skip this. But if mattes are your jam, you like the warmth, you like the compact nature of this, not having too, too many choices. I could see this being a good decision for some people as well. So just laying it all out there for you guys. Thank you so much for your time today. I have so many fun videos on my to-do list. I'm so excited. Hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you again soon. Bye.